With just days until the primary, WJZ is committed to bringing you profiles of the candidates in the key races. So tonight we highlight Republican race for governor. Paul Gessler speaks one on one with Kelly Schultz and highlights the role endorsements are playing in that race. Schultz tells her time in the Hogan administration saying she is ready to govern on day one. She's come under criticism from former President Donald Trump, who's endorsed her opponent, Dan Cox. Throw my strong endorsement behind your next governor, Kelly Schultz. Kelly Schultz wants voters to consider Governor Hogan's endorsement as they head to the ballot box. She is a true conservative, a common sense conservative. Thursday, Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford back to Schultz, too. I'm very proud. Of what we have accomplished over the course of the last eight years. Schultz has served as both labor and commerce secretary under Hogan. What really matters is the endorsement of the six million Marylanders out there. She does not have the endorsement of former President Donald Trump, who's backing delegate Dan Cox. Trump has called Schultz a rhino, Republican in name only. I've been a Republican my whole entire life. So um, I find it funny that somebody that hasn't been a Republican for their whole entire life calling me a certain name. This week, she laid out a Baltimore City crime plan, taking a cue from the governor as she went after the city's elected officials. You're not recruiting families and you're not recruiting businesses into Baltimore City if you do not have safe streets. That's what we're going to push hard on with Baltimore City elected officials. Her message to Republican voters ahead of Tuesday's primary feels like a general election pitch. They want more government spending. Massive new programs. I am the Republican candidate that can beat any de Democrat. Schultz describes herself as pro life, but says nothing will change with abortion rights on her watch. The only one that's being honest with integrity is that nothing will change when I'm governor. Schultz is hitting economic issues in the final days of this campaign, pushing for the repeal of taxes tied to retirement and gasoline. We've reached out to Delegate Dan Cox for a preview before Election Day. We're waiting to hear back. In Baltimore, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ. Thank you, Paul. And if you missed our gubernatorial debate focused on education, you can watch it again on CBS News Baltimore tonight at 7.30 and then Saturday and Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And all this week, you have noticed that we've been profiling candidates running for Maryland governor. And if you missed any of those, we're going to be airing a Meet the Candidates streaming special. That's going to be on CBS News Baltimore Monday at 10 a.m. and then at 6.30 p.m.